Now, Rallo said, um, his re-up on marijuana used to be a half a million dollars. Let's get into that clip right there. Team, um, we're talking about 444 pounds of weed. Right. Uh, worth $840,000. Right. Um, and you knew that people, the people were watching you at this time. Right. You said it on IG. You said it in interviews. You were vocal about it. Um, take us through that whole day on April 14th. Like, I mean, I did with my usual. I, um, <clears throat> every Monday I go to Cali, pick out my weed. Cause I used to send Duke a while and all my homies to Cali and pick up my weed. But they start coming back with shit that King and some of the bros were just, <clears throat> like fuck no, nah, that's that ain't no good shit. Mm -hmm. So you know, I end up looking at what they liked it, and I started going to Cali myself because I'm spending a million dollars. You see, I'm spending a million dollars. I'm spending sometimes five, anywhere between five hundred thousand and a million dollars. And when you get that shit, you don't want to have to hold on to that shit for months. And so, so I start going to Cali myself. I get on the jet every Monday, go to Cali, pick out my weed. Probably that Tuesday. The, one of my, my, my people that I had out there, he thought he was a plug. He wasn't a motherfucking plug. He was pretty much a broker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was able to go to some of the people up down in Humboldt County in they, in they mountains on the one-on-one. -on -one, and he'll bring me back little packs and shit and so, tell me, okay, this is what. You know what I'm saying? I get some of the bros smoking or whatnot. Half a million to a million dollar re-up. So, you flying there every Monday. Yeah. Every Monday. Yeah. The street value got to be five, probably eight, a million, probably 1.2. This nigga making 20 something million. Damn, a month, a month. If my math correct. Let's just say a bad month, you still able to walk away with three to six million dollars a month. Now that's 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 I'm just thinking, chat. I be I me per I'm probably a be nah if I'm in that life I'm thinking I was gonna say I'm I'd be too paranoid but Rollo said he knew the feds was watching him and he still was doing the shit so I'm thinking if I was still do it knowing the feds watching me uh, if I'm that rich and that up uh, see I don't know I feel like a lot of niggas be not just niggas but a lot of people and drug dealers and big time kingpins who get caught I think they just always be greedy they just can't stop. They to get everything they want, and now they can't stop. It's just something about them. They can't stop, and that's just what's going on, and that's how they get caught. Me, give me enough money. Give me 10, 20 million. I'm out. I give to somebody else. Hey, here with your turn, and I'm walking away, but it's obviously harder than that because once you win, you kind of end until it's over, or uh, you go to jail like the feds or whatever. I don't know. He said he looked up to Pablo Escobar, though. Yeah, I know. I did, too. I watched Narcos for about two years straight. Like, just watching it, just, just fascinated with this shit.